All right, you guys, uh, Mr. Kim here, uh, recording video, and I have Mr. Cicero here help me out. Say hi, sir. Hey, guys, what's going on? Uh, all right, all right. You want to say anything at all, or? Well, you want to ask a question that you asked me? Uh, yeah, sure. So today, I asked Mr. Kim if, in a self-defense situation, uh, would he be the type of martial artist or, you know, to recommend uh, finishing off a self-defense situation, as in um, doing the most that you can to inflict damage uh, and make sure that someone can't run after you versus uh, doing the bare minimum enough to that you can run away with a small head start. All right. So, you know, and I, and I asked him, like, you know, let's put this on camera to record because I think this can help a lot of people out. You know, mainly the, the, the question, all right, so personally, my opinion is, and what I would do is, I would, I would have to go through a lot of factors that are going on, right? If I were to get into a situation where I have to defend myself, one, the time of day, two, the area, three, of their people around, um, for the person who's attacking me, and am I with my family? You know, those are things that I kind of would probably make the decision on whether or not I would want to incapacitate my attacker, and, you know, finish the job to the point where he couldn't get up, or just maybe throw a couple of strikes and just get on out of there. And he asked me this question, I said, you know what, to make a statement as real as possible, yes, I feel like I would be able to do that if I had to. And I, in thinking about it, the question I wanted to ask all of you guys watching right now is, you know, would you guys have the heart to do something like that to another human being that is putting you in a situation where they don't care about your mental well-being or your physical well-being, you know? And that's the real self-defense that we're trying to, to learn over here is, you know, can I bring him out of myself enough to actually defend myself, you know? If, I know some of us might have weapons on us, might have uh, a gun that we carry, maybe a knife. And the question I wanna ask you, uh, you guys is, do you have the heart to use it if someone were to do something to you and pull the trigger and watch the damage that you've done? You know, physically hurting another human being is something that, you know, we might see a lot of on TV and then we get into a lot of arguments, but to actually do that to somebody else, it, it takes a certain mindset. It takes a certain understanding of why we're doing this. And I know a lot of us from the very, very wee, wee ages when we're young, we're taught to never hurt anybody. So you kind of grow up with that same mindset, even up until your 40s and 50s, especially if you've never been into a physical altercation. So I'm gonna ask you guys, you know, and answer back with a comment, a question, or whatever the case is, maybe make a video about it, and that is, do you have the heart to do that to somebody else and put them out and finish the job? And if you do, how would you feel afterwards? Because really that is what I wanna get across. And then we start talking about the skills and the ability to do that afterwards while we train, all right? I hope you guys take this question and really think about it because I'd love to hear your answers, all right? See you later.